New to this season is the Point of the Stag Bow, which you can obtain from Iron Banner, and if you notice, it can roll Swashbuckler, which after a melee kill, can one-tap a Guardian. So of course I wanted this roll, but the other perk that came on it was a perk called Shot Swap. And yes, you have to say the whole thing. And what I think this enables for me is to use Transversive Steps instead of Ophidian Aspect. And to nerf myself in the background gameplay, I'm of course pairing it with the DeWalt Cordless Drill. But since I knew nothing about Shot Swap, I decided to do a deep dive and go frame by frame to see what exactly it's doing. For the first test, I decided to use the Ace of Spades hand cannon since it clocks in at exactly 50 handling, so that's a great baseline. I started off without using the Shot Swap perk, and it clocked in at around 50 frames on a 60 FPS recording. With the perk called Shot Swap active, it shaves around 9 frames, which is an improvement, but we can do better. The next test shows, without Shot Swap, a 100 handling hand cannon versus a quick draw hand cannon, but I did make an error in the footage that I want to bring up. So number one, human error, and number two, there's a bug where if you're like at a full magazine and swap to the weapon, the bullet shoots before the gun actually readies. So to get an accurate test, you have to purposely shoot a bullet first, then do the test. But anyways, ideally the quick draw perk is supposed to be slightly faster than 100 handling because it applies a scaler, which speeds up the animation. Following this theme, I decided to pair a perk named Shot Swap with Lucky Pants. Lucky Pants gave a very fast ready animation scaler. But unfortunately, I realized a flaw with this playstyle, where to activate Lucky Pants, you have to swap to the hand cannon so that you can prime the ready speed for your next draw. Which means that every time you activate Shot Swap, it goes away when you activate a legally modded holster. So it kind of works against each other, which brought me back to the drawing board, so you just simply try Shot Swap and Quick Draw. A 0.57 TTK for getting a bow kill, holding on to Shot Swap, and just switching to a Quick Draw hand cannon isn't really asking for much, but we can still speed it up by using Dexterity mods. Here's what that looks like. So if you are committing to this playstyle, it is worth using dexterity mods, but what if you want to use a sidearm instead of a hand cannon so that you have better ways to navigate close quarter combat? And in that case, go for Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves, which isn't going to be a quick draw scaler, but it's still going to be 100 handling, and it's still going to be fast enough that your opponent doesn't even know what hit him. Fair warning, don't use Forerunner because Forerunner has a specialized animation that it has to go through and it adds to slowing down the entire draw. I believe that covers the frame data, so now I'm going to give you my recommendations on this perk. For most builds, Shot Swap is not a go-to. However, it does open up using transversive steps over Ophidians, but it does require a kill. A Twitter user by the name of D2Clarity has informed me this information. Essentially, stow scalers do not make you draw faster. Once you're at 100 handling, that's it. There's nothing you can do to speed it up. That doesn't mean ready scalers don't help. They do. Most bows hover around 70 handling by default. So Ophidian Aspects, being plus 32 handling, gets them to over 100, which means that they're already at their max stow speed without requiring a kill. This was so effective that a while ago in a TWAB, they mentioned that they changed Bo's stow and nerfed it just ever so slightly. The best way to get around this is not shot swap, but to use Dragon Shadow with a bow if you're going for a swap build. Of course, Lucky Pants is still on the table, but shot swap kind of plays badly with it. Weirdly, I think you should go for surplus on a bow if you're going to go the Lucky Pants route. But all in all, I will tell you that the reason that I will probably not use this perk if I get a better roll on this Iron Banner weapon, watch me on stream, attempt it, it's probably not going to happen, is this right here. If you pull out the ghost to check if people have a charged super and are about to solo super you instead of using it to win the game, not mad. Um, you lose the shot swap perk. It just goes away. So, anyways, I hope you learned something in this video. If I was going to do the research on this for my own use, you might as well know too. So, see you in the next one. Maybe I stream, but my internet lately has been kind of bad. So, maybe it dies and I just 
go grind some sort of activity in Destiny. Anyways, take care, everybody.